Welcome back. In this video, we are going to focus on that part, on not this, but that over there and the front part right here. I want to get the sets away from the back and I want to get them into the city because right now this just looks too bare. I do have uh, a lot over here I also have to, to do. And again, Mrs. Lunabrix has this part. Let's see if we can get her to to build just a little bit of it. Um, but I am gonna do the, uh, the, the cross right here. We do have somewhere, I think it's over in that box over there. We do have uh, the, uh, yeah, these ones uh, for, uh, for that area as well. But we're also gonna put up uh, the uh, the small things, the small amusements, and we're gonna put up uh, a path and see if we can find another way to to have these, or if they have to be in another way. But let's let's get started with it. We took everything out. This is all the minifigures, or most of the minifigures that was in the park before, just scattered around and all of these smaller things. And then of course the um, Disney train station, the haunted house and the first wheel. And then over here we have the carousel and the, I can't remember what it's called. This one, the little one that turned around. And over here the, uh, the older roller coaster. I don't think there's gonna be enough room to put in the new if we want to get it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but up here, we have put in this. I don't really know if I actually want this here because there isn't supposed to drive cars over here. So I might just take this off and then just make them uh, from these spaces so that people can walk and then make some kind of a, uh, a fence or a hedge or any something here and then use this a um, another space because we are intending to have that right there so it's kind of going to be the uh, the entrance and it's also going to be uh, the the train station for this little beauty not this this so I think I'm going to take that off again and then build it in another way, another fashion, and then put it in, put the, uh, the slopes over here and over there instead. But I'm still going to do it, uh, do this um, one stud. I was, I'd say, um, misaligned so that it connects these plates. But yeah, let's see. I'm going to do that. Maybe put up some of the uh, the rights and do uh, a little bit of, of the path with these. This is the last thing that is not over in one of those Alex drawers. So hopefully I can use all of this and I won't have anything on that little shelf over there. But let me do this. Back on this side, I didn't like the fact that there was a, uh, a I was about to say a bump, uh, that these slopes were over there. So I did them with this instead. But now I don't like the way that this looks like. So my plan was that just take these away and let me see if I can get it over here. I built this um, and this is just going to be, now it's not all the way down, but this is just going to be a extension of the platform. And the reason why I made it this big was so that I could still have this going down from this side. So now people is going to enter from the sidewalk across here and up to the the uh, the platform which has become bigger and then walk down from from this area 
I still have to figure out if I want to change the color so that they are black blue screen instead, but I think that this actually looks good. Now I just have to hope, it should be, that the, the trains can still go around here. But I, I, I pretty much, I, I like this, and I don't know if I want to do something in here, maybe some, some uh, flowers or something like that, but let me put that, fix that in, and maybe doing do some some small changes. But I like this. I think it's gonna be good, and I like the view. That of course it's pushed a little bit over there, uh, in in comparison with how it was before. It's not completely centered, but it is good enough. I think it's about two studs. Um, more to the to the left than it, it was before but uh, let me try and we have started or Mrs. Lunenbergs has started on her set she is building the medieval town square or some of it and I have started on this the uh, second A-frame cabin so hopefully that will be in at the end I don't think so but perhaps so we are going to to build it and we are we have started so let's see how long it will take her to build the other ones we got it placed and we also got a bit further uh actually we go quite a bit i'm not always that good at stopping so pretty much got everything put in and also put in the path so we have a path going from from this slope uh, down to the main main path um, going around just from from here the uh, haunted house and going over here where I'm gonna have some kind of a a place for the small stalls I'm not sure that it's gonna be like this this is just being put down first of all and then over here a little place for uh, places to eat and, and something. It's not done at all, but it's 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 quite far ahead. And then over here, again, the Ferris wheel haven't moved that much. I think it moved the stud, something like that, just to fit with the path. And then over here, the, um, the roller coaster, which wasn't in there before, was over there. And then over here, the two Carousels, I found out that this was called the fairground mixer, of course, and then the uh, the bigger carousel over there. These two are on the same battery box, so they have a motor, and the two big ones over here, the same, on the same battery box, a motor each. This one doesn't have a motor in. But that's because I only have one of the battery boxes that goes with that. And right now that is in the uh, the Lego train. Uh, sorry, the Disney train. So I'm not sure I'm going to put some in. But you can see it's open. It's open for business. But let me try to, uh, to get them all started. And everything is going. I hope you can still hear anything or something over the uh, motors. These two are going right now on the same battery box and these two are going on the same battery box. I can hear something over there. You can see there is a problem with the, with the roller coaster there. Um, it's not aligned perfectly, but I have to fix that. But let me just turn them off. And the great sound of silence. But yeah, as I was saying, this doesn't work as it should right now. I think it's just something with the pieces that has to be pressed down, something like that. I'm gonna figure it out so it's not a big problem. And yeah, but it looks good. I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do down here. I'm still gonna figure out what I'm gonna do over here. I'm still gonna put in some, some more fence and, and I'm still gonna put in some more or some trees and flowers and, and stuff like that. And that's kind of the idea I have right now. They might change if there come, comes a uh, set that can come in. That would be very, very nice. And then I'm thinking about doing some kind of an entrance right here. 
because this isn't an ordinary entrance for a uh, for amusement park but for this right at the moment it's it's okay but and I have tried to see if the trains can can go through and they can no problem there but I did figure out that there is still a problem with the tunnel un underneath. I don't know if I've pushed it some, some a little bit too far or something like that. If you can see, I'm just going to go over to the other side. That it is not straight at all, this piece of road. And the back cart of the train keeps popping off when it goes through there. So I might just put this in push it take this and push it inside the leg so that this can be straight um, you know what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that sometimes there is a long way from thought to action but not now so I've taken this one out and I pushed it into the other side of the leg so now the train goes in here and it doesn't err uh, it doesn't hit so now I know it's like, going out somewhere where you can't see it. Let's go up here. And it is over there. It's not going that fast. I still haven't switched the, um, the batteries. But there it comes. And it didn't pop off. So, success with both the uh, amusement park and the train. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna stop it right there. That was everything that we can do with the parts you have right now. But now the basics or the, the important part has been put in. So now we just need the uh, the details for the city, uh, for, the, for the amusement park, the uh, fence and the flowers and the trees and and all these things and probably some more food stalls and maybe it will change a bit but just looking at this now i am very very contempt i i do like the way that we have have gotten it and the train line is is fixed all the way around and a bigger station but it does look very very good and i'm very very happy that we uh, that we did did it now because it was the the eyesore when you looked at this part. So now pretty much everything has been put up in some way. There will be changes. Of course, we still need the the minifigures and and the cars and such things up there. Still do need to make a couple of those plates, but it's it's coming along very very well. So now that it, now it's just this that we need to first of all clean up. It is a mess. I don't, I, I haven't done anything about it because it was needed. So now we just need Mrs. Lunibrex to figure out what she wants over here. But I hope you enjoyed it. This was everything that we had to show you in this video. So if you liked it, thank you. If you didn't, Nothing much you can do about it now. But please like and subscribe. And until next time, bye.